Okay, so if you're here right now watching this video, I can only assume that you enjoy The Witcher as much as I do. I even went as Geralt's not as buff and slightly chubby cousin for Halloween this year. But anyways, not so buff Geralt's out of the way. Today I want to make series practice wooden sword that she uses in the most recent season of The Witcher. So to start off, I got this kid's... God, what are these called? Uh, golf club at my local thrift store. And yes, I did feel weird buying this at the, the blah, blah, blah. I did feel weird buying this at the register because this was the only thing that I purchased when I went in. So the first thing I needed to do was to remove the plastic head and the rubber handle. I did this really fast by using my Dremel and my diamond cutting wheel. Next, I printed out the design of the sword that I made in Adobe Illustrator. I built this design based on just a couple reference photos that I was able to take. The hardest part about making this design is that I had to work off a pretty grainy photo of the sword like this. Once all of that was done, it was time to bring that over to my EVA foam to trace it and cut the blade out. I wanted to make this sword in four parts. The blade, the handguard, the handle, and the pommel. And then just glue it all together at the very end. Now all I need to do is dremel out the middle of these blades so I have room to fit the metal rod in between them. To make the handle, I cut out a bunch of square shapes that I could use to stack onto each other to make the handle design. Now it was time to start gluing some of the cuts together. I'm using here a rubber-based contact adhesive. This is not normally what I like using when it comes to gluing EVA foam together. I like using contact cement instead because it gives it a much cleaner and more even job. Also, this stuff was really hard to spread onto the foam. It starts drying and balling up pretty quick. It really sucked too because I had a jar of contact cement not that long ago, but I ended up dropping the bottle and broke it and lost all of the glue that I had. I thought, oh well, I can just go buy another bottle. I went to four stores and all of them were out. Four. Apparently everyone else is doing a EVA foam project as well. Just so you know, I did go to my drill and drill holes into all of this, but it was like negative 10 in my garage and my camera kept fogging up on me. But when it came to gluing the handle squares together, this process was a little difficult because I didn't want the pieces to touch each other because the glue needs to kind of set for a couple minutes. And I also didn't want the glue to get onto the metal rod and then have it get stuck on there. So I had to really take my time in putting the glue on here. Now came the most tedious part of this build if you don't have something like a belt sander. Going in and shaping the blade and the handle and the guard. This is that point where you just got to go in and sand, sand, and sand away until you get the shape that you want and that you're pleased with. And please, if you're sanding EVA foam like this, wear some form of face covering. You don't want to be inhaling a bunch of this foam dust. All right, so what I need to do here is to add some strips to go around the handle for finger spacers. That way, when I went in with the twine to wrap the handle, it would have some ridges for your fingers to fall into place. This was a really simple thing to do, and in the end, added a lot to the piece. And while that dried, I went and shaped out the pommel of the sword, and once that was all done, it was time to start putting all these pieces together to finally have a sword. Does anyone else hear some music slowly building up in a really dramatic manner, or, or is that just me? Toss a coin to an artist because he is starving, because he is starving, oh. Toss a coin to an artist because he is starving. Well, that was weird. Sorry about that. But now it's time for my favorite part of this and adding some of the wood grain effect using my X-Acto knife and just scoring the surface. You don't want to go super deep into the surface with this. Just a slight score will do. Because once you add the heat with the heat gun, it's going to open up all those marks. The heat gun also helps with getting the surface nice and smooth for the coat of Plasti Dip that I'm going to put onto this piece. Again, it is super 
cold in my garage, so I didn't shoot me out there adding the paint. Now it is time to wrap the handle, and I think this part really brought this piece to life. And for this, I just used some basic burlap twine and wrapped it like I was getting my tennis racket ready or something. Just keeping the edges as close and tight as possible. And this is one of those moments where you just want to take your time and make sure you do it right. But we are on the final stretch and adding some paint to this piece. I wasn't really sure on the color I wanted to go with. In some of the scenes of the show, I noticed that the sword had a very natural brown wood color to it, and in other scenes, it kind of had a slight orange color. So in the end, I did a base of the orangish brown, and then did a series of dark browns and orange brown washes onto the blade. And of course, I did my coat of dry brushing to give that little bit of a worn out look. Well, I think it is time to play some epic music to finish this sword off. No, not you again. Alright everyone, here it is, series wooden practice sword from season 2 of The Witcher. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this build. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And remember, toss a coin to your local artist, and like always, keep drawing, and until next time, bye! Because he is starving, oh, oh, oh. toss a coin to an artist, because he is starving.